Hello, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to automate posting to Instagram in the browser using Axiom.ai and no code browser automation tool. I'm Alex Barlow, co founder. Let's dive in. In this video, I'm going to be taking you through a template that automates posting to Instagram. I'm going to show you how to install that template, how to configure it, and how to run it. But before I do that, for context, let me quickly take you through how the template or the automation works. This Instagram automation works by reading a post from a Google Sheet. And if you have more than one post, it will loop through them. It will then open up Instagram. It's then going to mimic the actions you would do. It will click Create. Then it will click Post, where it will proceed to fill in the post form, uploading the image or the video and entering the text for the post. Once it's complete, it will delete the processed row from the Google Sheet and then process the next row. Quickly, before you get started, you are going to need a Google Sheet, as you've just seen on screen. I've added a single post. I've put my text in column A, and I've put a file path to the image I wish to use in column B. Installing the template is dead easy. All you need to do, if you if you found this video via YouTube, just go to axiom.ai on the top menu, click template, and you'll find this and many other templates. Then when you're on the template page, click the button over there to install the template. If you haven't created an Axiom account yet, click the button to create the Axiom account and then install the template. I've already installed my template. I clicked on install, so I'm going to open up Axiom and let's get straight to the configuration. Now we need to configure just four steps to get this automation set up. So it's going to be pretty simple. Follow along as I take you through it step by step. Let's start with the first step, step one. I'm going to expand the step, read data from Google Sheet. There you can see I need to press and click on the first field, which is spreadsheet, and I need to insert the sheet that I made for this um, automation. It's pretty simple, DM. Now, if you've got more than one tab in the sheet, you will need to specify a sheet name, but I don't, so I can just look at the output straight away, and I can see a preview of the data from my sheet. That's as simple as that. The step is configured. Let's collapse that step now. Now, the remaining steps we need to configure, just three of them are all in the loop step. The loop step is basically a loop that goes through any rows added in the Google Sheet. We don't need to do anything to configure the loop. It will set itself up as we progress through the steps. You will notice that we've got more than the four steps that we need to configure. These have all been pre-configured. I won't talk you through those quite yet about what they do. After we set these steps up, I'll just walk you through the template step by step. Okay, the next step we need to set up is the upload a file path. So let's expand that step, step 2.6. We don't need to select the file upload or file input field, because we've already done that for you. I just need to insert a path so the step can find the file I wish to upload. Now, worth noting, I'm using the upload a file step. You can only use this step on the desktop runner because it's taking the, the files locally. You can use an upload a file from a Google Drive step to upload into the cloud. Okay, so I could click select to find a file directly off my hard drive, but I'm going to insert data and use that file path you saw earlier by selecting column B to upload the image. That's it, that's the step set up. So I'm gonna collapse step 2.6 now and go on to the next step. The next step is the enter text step. This is the step that inputs the data into the Google Sheet, sorry, into the, um, post um, comment or the, the caption box. And I'm going to, I could just type into the text box. I don't need to select the text field, that should be done. I'm gonna click insert data and pass that first column from the Google Sheet. Now I've got one more step to set up, step 2.11. I'm gonna expand the delete rows from a Google Sheet step. What do we need here? 
Well, basically, this step deletes the row of data we just posted, so we don't post the same post again. Now, a spreadsheet URL says it's going to be the same sheet that I picked before and the same sheet name. First row is set to one. It's going to delete the first row. That's what I want, and it's only going to delete one row. So that step two is set up. Now the bot is ready to run. Now the part I never get tired of watching, the browser automation part where the bot opens up and it starts running and actually is automating the browser. It's freaking awesome. So <clears throat> I'm going to click run without further ado. We're going to run on the desktop because obviously we're using the upload file step. This is going to open up in the desktop runner. Here it is. My hands are here. I'm not doing anything. This is the automation working. This is the turn notifications off. We've just got to click not now. Next, we're going to click on the create button. Woohoo! We're going to click on post. Next, select from computer. And this is where the image that I've added the file path from the Google Sheet gets uploaded. You can see the click just happened there. There's the image. We're going to click the next button. And then the next button, you can add steps to do the filters if you wish. I don't wish to use a filter. Now we're going to insert the caption and then send the post. Oh, that's, I never get tired of watching that. Browser automation is just so cool. I mean, I do a lot of work in the browser, so I love using it. And it's click post. Awesomeness. So let's go on to the next part. Let's not forget you can customize any template you use or any automation you make in Axiom simply by adding the steps you want to um, build out the new functionality. For so, for example, if I wanted to add steps to login, here I could add, I would probably add the end the steps outside of the loop, and I'll just add an enter text step times two. And then a click element to click submit when I log in. So that's one way you can customize your template. There's absolutely thousands of step combinations you can come up with. So have fun automating. Finally, some top tips on troubleshooting when running this bot. If you have an issue with some of the steps that have already been pre-configured, pre this happens from time to time because Instagram are constantly updating their um, pages, adding new functionality, changing where buttons go, etc. You may need to reselect those buttons. Let's take this example, step 2.4. This step relates directly to clicking on the create button. That's why we've labeled it create. Now, if step 2.4, suddenly you see an error for it saying element not found, try simply reselecting the element. We also have other settings within the select tool called custom, where you can select the element by, you can use the element by text and that has unique text. So that may work. I'm going to unselect that. You can also enter custom selectors to help troubleshoot those things. So we have more information on our website, axiom.ai, about how to do things like using custom selectors. Okay, let me take you through another example. Let's just cl click create and post. If you have an issue, for example, uploading the image, let's, um, which step is that? 2.6, you may want to reselect the file input. Simple to do, just select it and press complete. Also worth noting, if you're uploading really large files, you may want to add a weight to let that file upload. So if, you, if you're using a video, you may need to add a weight, for example. Okay, so that's a bit of um, troubleshooting. We've also on the actual template page, there'll be a couple of other tips. Do um, reach out to us though. If you get stuck, we offer great customer support. We love hearing from you. Record um, a loom explaining where you're stuck or just a screen recording and share your template with us so we can upload it into our Axiom account and we can just make any tweaks and then send it back to you fixed. That's all. Thank you very much.